Okay, first, uh, let's, uh, st mm, you may notice there is, uh, there's some new options in the mm, create, you know, basically creation dialog box, which is um, this one, keep the original object. It uh, was actually one of the students' comments. Uh, they uh, told me that, okay, what if we, we have lots of, you know, parameters and we have so many modifiers and we pa do parametric array and then we suddenly mess up the array. We need, we need to go back to our original form and it's gone because it's already changed. So that option I just added because I, I, I thought that that's a good idea. So you can keep the original object. So when you array, it, will, uh, it won't be part of your array, it will uh, stay out of the array. So if there's something wrong, you can just uh, go back to this and uh, restart your uh, parametric array. Uh, so if you don't need uh, uh, this thing to be uh, as an extra uh, uh, object, you just uncheck it. The second thing is new that uh, is the this assign controller, which uh, uh, actually pro uh, produce uh, one array with one element. What that means is you, uh, you can use those controllers, which you already know about them, on one single object. So those are, um, this can actually work on independent or individual uh, objects in, uh, in, in 3D Max. Uh, so when you switch to the norm, if you, if you want to create multiple objects, you choose create array as a normal uh, parametric array. And if you want to assign a controller only on this object, you, you, you select uh, assign controller. So obviously this uh, numbers and uh, keep original uh, object option doesn't make any sense for this. So they're, they're already um, disabled, so you cannot choose it. That's the second thing which is new in this. Um, so let's go ahead, I just draw a circle and uh, I'm gonna array it to show you the other things. Uh, well, I'm gonna array this in Z direction. I will you? Okay, we go ahead uh, with the linear controller and um, I'm gonna move up the last one a little. I'm gonna use uh, another one, uh, another linear controller for radius. Uh, Okay, uh, these are uh, circles and basically they are shapes and we can, we can array, uh, 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 as you know, uh, other objects on, on, on circles. And that's, uh, now the, the new thing about the parametric array 2.5 is that you can actually take those curves uh, and then you can create two-dimensional array on, on another array. So here, uh, uh, I'm going to do a two-dimensional array, and uh, I don't need this uh, original object. And then you can see when I select for the for let's say position, uh, I select the curve controller before. Uh, Basically what you do, you just pick the shape and it array on one curve. And obviously one curve, you, you, um, you can manage one dimensional array on one curve. But since this, this is an array of curves, you can now array in two dimensional array on these uh, uh, curves inside another array. So you just need to pick one of them and then you need to answer yes to this question, which is going to uh, take the full array uh, as your target. And then once you do that, so you update the array, you will get the, um, on each curve, you will get 10 items on 10 uh, curves. So that's the 10 by 10 array. So this is, uh, the, that's the first dimension. Since I don't have the, uh, more than uh, 10 curves, you don't see the extra s sphere, but once I add to this one, you can see the, 
the the, uh, the spheres are uh, you know uh, increasing in number.